Oh, got to gotta get the password ready. Welcome to a new part of Croc LP. And now we're What's in the that? ice world with the ice of life. Hey. I'm going to... Wait, we're only in world two? How many yeah. worlds are in this game? Yeah. Four. There are four, four worlds okay. and there are... Well, six, there are ten levels in each world. Okay, okay. And this whole LP is about uh, 12 parts. So I'm going to quickly go back to the instruction manual. We're in chapter 2, in which a crocodile was found. We have Tales of Croc. He could sing the anthem backwards and forwards and run every gobo dance contest he entered. In fact, little Croc was so gobble like that it never even occurred to him to take a single bite out of a gobo. As far as he was concerned, he was a gobo. And that's a great time, a great joy res resigned in Gobble Valley. Croc was healthy, King Rufus was happy, and the subjects hadn't had this much fun since the year of the three minute egg timer. Then, the three then, minute egg timer? <laughs> then Croc grew. Chapter the third, in which Croc is a gobo no more. In one fantastic growth spurt, Croc grew as tall as three gobos stacked on top of each other. He started eating like crazy. For breakfast alone, he ate over 150 buckets of peas. While walking, he would accidentally smash through buildings and trip over homes. A simple game of patty cake with friends would lead to multiple contusions and internal bleeding. Despite oh my his, god! Despite his friends' efforts to brush off these accidents, Croc began to feel out of place in, in the Gobo Valley. Just as Croc decided to do something about this, a Gobo ran past screaming... Uh, what, how do you pronounce the blur? Baron Dante? Baron Dante? No, it's... Uh, Dan... Dantinus? Oh, D D Dantini? Yeah, Dantinus. Yeah. Chapter chapter the fourth, in which trouble comes to Gobo Valley. The Gobos had long since heard of Dantinus, a band of villains known far and wide for their ruthless Oh, the the, 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 the the followers of Baron Dante, Dan Dantinis. Yeah, their ruthless burning, wanton looting, and marvelous singing voices, Appendency 3. The Dantini Glee Club would have won all the big choral contests had they not been disqualified for eating the judges. <laughs> 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 what was worse was that whenever there was uh, Dantin, uh, Dantinus, Baron Dante could not be far behind. King of all villains, get fucked, K. Rule. Baron Dante was stronger than a thousand Dantinus and had a long established hatred for all things Gobos. He had seen the Gobos and Croc being blissfully happy and decided that enough was enough. It was time for the Gobos to suffer. The, uh, the valley swarmed with Dantinus as they captured Gobo after Gobo and threw them in cages. Dante watched it all, laughing his horrible laugh. King Rufus knew he had to save Croc. He tell swiped the gong that sat in the center of the village and it rang, summoning Beanie the bird. She appeared immediately and King Rufus instructed her to whisk Croc away to safety. Rufus looked at Croc, your only hope. Before we could say anything, Beanie spirited Croc away in a shower of magical sparklies, just as Baron Dante snatched up the king in his iron hand. Jonas Does it part... actually say magical sparklies? Yep, magical oh. sparklies. Join us in part four, where I go over the last chapter, in which Croc realizes his calling. But yeah, this okay. is... So now we're here. Okay, wait, so 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 the gong has a name? Of course, the gong. Has yeah. It. Well, what was the gong's name? Have, have you Spirit not the realized the, that this game has the deepest of lore? No, wait, wait, wait. The, the, the gong, the gong doesn't have a name. He just says he tell he tell swiped the gong that sat in the center of the village. The bird, oh, okay. The he tail swag. The, the bird. Gong. The right. bird has a name. Beanie the bird, and and it's female. Mm. This game's inclusive. But does it pass the Bechdel test? Oh, club. There, there are no other girls in it. So, there's no. only yeah. The, oh, unless man, are the other. Do they reveal? Do they reveal the gender of, of all the bad guys? Are they all male? Uh, they're, well, they're all animals, and I mean, some of them they could have been male, but well, we Crux just don't know. An animal. They could be female. Crux an animal. We just don't know. They're all animals. We're animals. Technically, we're mammals, but I agree with you. Also, now because we're in the ice level, now this is the part where, uh, just like in all the other worlds, the the theme gets a slight uh, gets a slight tweaking, and it sounds so good. You know, it doesn't. I'm looking at the uh, at the instruction manual. It doesn't state the gender of the generic bad guys, so I'm going to assume they're all female. And because they are always speaking to each other, this game is the, this game passes the Bechdel test more than any other game ever made. Ah, bravo. And that's that's why it's Croc the well what if what if Croc is the only dude? 
Well, I think... That's why he feels so different from all the gobos. <laughs> well, no, because the gobos had a king, so I guess that's... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I think damn. the could... king... Okay, so... The king, yeah. the king, Croc, and the main bad guy are all identified with male pronouns in the book. But every, all, all, all the other gobos and all the other generic bad guys could all be female. We don't know. It, it, it's a it's a reverse Smurfette situation. <laughs> it's good, although it it. it oh, oh, Jesus. So what you're saying is that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although it is, it is, it is kind of fucked up in a society with only one male. They make him the king. <laughs> well, I mean, the the Gerudo do that in Ocarina Time as well. Well, that's because the Gerudo a, culture is like Gerudo? The, they the, suck. the only man that we that is born out of our culture every one hundred years is the one that gets us knocked up. It. Yep. Well, no, it, there's a. There's a stone of truth that uh, if you use the mask of truth, will actually say that uh, a lot of the the Gerudo will go to Highly in Castle Town and kidnap men. That's right. Meat. So, so That's it's it's not up. that. So for the longest time, I thought it was that yeah they they were just an all female you know uh, species or whatever you know kind of like how whip tailed lizards are. But no, they it just happens that. Anytime they reproduce, they produce. They only a have one dude years. every 100 years. One dude, yeah. Yep. yep. And now we Which, what the, fucking the, the, luck? Not for, for bad, shit luck for the Gerudos. It's like, you only get one male in, uh, one male in your population you... every 100 years. <laughs> what are you talking about? Men are trash, the less we have, the better. No, well, no, no, think about it. The one guy you actually have for the, the, this 100 year period <laughs> and he turns out to be the reincarnation of the king of evil oh yeah true because he doesn't inherently have to be like the like reincarnation of demise it could have just been another gerudo king and everyone could have just went about their days but nope no nope. and it has to come around and fuck every demise just comes around and says yeah no fuck that yoink i'm taking this body bitch i also i also love how uh... the, the one gay guy in this call is like yeah mineral trash <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried dating them? I'm just saying. And then now we have this level that, that that's looking a lot more like Ice Cap. Boom, 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 boom. And I still love the music. Uh, more, more, more like the more like adventure Ice Cap. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I do like how um uh they still stick with the the core uh like the um. How each of the worlds basically have our uh, their themes are remixes of uh, the main theme, it, but they just uh, add like focus on different instrumentations. Even even like the underground theme, and but it has like a more like whimsical in the ice world. It has a more whimsical uh, tone. Yeah, it, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of it uh, feels less uh, creepy lava dungeon and more like. Uh, uh, ice caves or something like that. Well, I mean, that's I mean that that's not that, like Mario World did, but like so many tracks in Mario World are just remixes of the main theme. But I like that. Yeah. I like I I and like that, a well, game. Well, it's clever, theming. but it's also cheap. See, for for me, cheap. what I appreciate when they're able to uh, when they're able to. What the oh, fuck? Yeah. That's the fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to ground pound to get land. you to stop moving. That's okay. I made it better. Um, but no, um. <laughs> But no, see, for for me as a music nut, I I'm a sucker for when they manage to um, uh, be uh to try different arrangements and different compositions. Like this, it's basically the same song but with different instruments, and it sounds like a completely different song. I'm a sucker yeah. for uh for when uh they're able to do that. Don't you love I don't you love ice like physics cookies. on tank controls? Oh, I was about to say I I, I, I don't remember at all how bad were the ice physics in this in this world. They're honestly not that bad as you would expect. It's just they're still they're still there and they still kind of get in the way, but they honestly aren't like as terrible as you might think. Honestly, they're, they're fine. now that I think about it, I think I've actually had worse trouble with uh, when dealing with ice physics when the game had tank controls. I don't remember a game with tank controls where the ice physics actually fucked me over because, you know, if the because at that point I'm still steering myself. So does uh, does the manual 
describe or at least explain what all the gears and cogs are doing in the ice level. Let me have a look. I mean, I, I'm down for this combination. It just seems like it's, it just seems like it's, you took it's two just like, themes. Is that what it's like what Eggman does, and he's like trying to set up everything while the level is going on. So yeah. Like we got starting the game, main menu, map screen, options, saving and loading your game. No, no, just go to the go to the table of content. It should be right there under explanation okay. for gears and light ice level. <laughs> okay, table of content. Context. Here we gotta go. Quit the game, controlling croc, on screen information, games, maybe some game structure, page 23. This manual is pretty, this manual's got 32 pages, holy crap. So, Don't you it's remember a, when games had manuals? Dude, I fucking, I, I, I love, I, this, is one of, this is one of my favorite manuals. This manual is so fucking charming, man. I miss it. It's so look. detailed. Games, you know, you know what's cool is that, dude. This game, so everything you explained in part one to find is in the, is in the, there's a section that just says game structure. Wait, you what? Make, yeah, there's a part of the manual that just says game structure. You must make your way through the four islands that make up the gobo, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that word, and find as many of your little friends as you can. Each island is protected by two guardians, once innocent inhabitants, that have been transformed by Baron Dante's magic into fierce and allies. These guardians each protect three levels of an island. Every level, other than secret and guardian levels, has six gobos hidden somewhere within it. If you find all six, you have fully completed that level. If you find six gobos in three levels defended by a guardian, and then defeat that guardian, you will gain access to a secret level. So many... Throughout the game, there are eight such secret levels, and each contain a magical jigsaw piece. Legend has it that there exists a mysterious fifth island hidden from normal sight, said only to appear if all eight parts of a, of a magical jigsaw puzzle was found. Most games wouldn't fucking tell you that. I like that. Also, I, I lied that that, that isn't the, the the previous one isn't the worst mini game. This is the worst mini game. Damn. One yeah. debt to society. <laughs> yeah. I, I completely forgot about that. I, I did this. I had to do this like uh, at least ten times. Was that an actual SpongeBob so title card? Yeah, that was a SpongeBob title card. Yeah. When dead to I, society I, I hate, later. I despise this one so much because you have to like get it because it, it goes on for like I swear like three minutes. You have to do this without missing once. Wow. Because you you keep you keep you have to collect all of them and then eventually the gobo drop. It's not like you have to get a certain amount. The gobo is one of them that you have to collect. So you gotta do this for like three gotta minutes. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, yeah. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. So uh, can, can I just say straight up, Croc, the Croc, Legend of the Gobos for PlayStation 1 has the most fucking helpful instruction manual in existence. Yes. Like, oh my god, it tells you everything you need to know. Like, oh my god, thank oh, you. I mean, like, also, that's, well, it, it doesn't, it brings up the, the secret islands as well, right? Yes. Because yeah, I, I really the final, like the, yeah, touch. the final world. Oh, yeah, the like secret the touch, islands. Yeah, the secret levels. Yeah, because they're right. each an independent island. Because I like that. Because uh, it, it tells Donkey you there's Kong? something more. Tro Tropical expect. Freeze. Tropical Freeze does that, where all the secret uh, levels are on a whole separate island. So it is kind of neat that they do to see that kind of also carrying over, uh, at least thematically, about having ar all these little archipelagos. Because in that whole opening cutscene, the island looks like fucking Donkey Kong Island. Oh, you know what? I think I think that's the word they were. They were. Yeah. They, I couldn't put it. Archipelago. archipelago. There you go. I, I've never heard that word before in my life. You're, you're from oh. England. It, it's literally one. We don't talk. We don't talk about that. We just talk about how better we are than everyone else. <laughs> also, I, I need to I need to go back to that because you said each of the the level. I was like Riot Burr. It's a great <laughs> name. All right. So you said that each each of the bosses are the guardians of that section of the island, right? That's what the, uh, the bug. that's what the manual. So says, the yes. fucking ladybug is the guardian. Yeah, mythical guardian. Yes. <laughs> that yeah, the that's... fucking ladybug and the duck are the guardians. The, that, it was like, it was a magic duck, dude. All right. Do you... No, but he's not magic. He was he was you magic turned him into that weird flipping. No, guy. he was corrupted. Well, no, you I don't know I the I magical don't. power that the, the, that the yeah, duck Steph had. Stefan, when I say guardians, I, I think I think the manual is implying that once they're corrupted by the, the Dante's magic, they become his guardians. Not, okay. Not, not that the base creatures are going skin. What's that fucking ladybug going to do? Not a lot. <laughs> ladybug's going to fuck you up. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> 
XCOM and, and they, they, they get even I think it's I forget if it's in this part or the next part but there's like the next boss is like the best and stupidest one of them all also I forget that you have to jump in that water because the, the the game doesn't like in tell you that 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 water you can go inside but I, I was realized, gonna say yeah. how do you it, it, it made sense in the first level because you know the bad water <laughs> is lava, but now that the bad is it because good water does the shimmer effect and bad water is just like solid blue yeah, I guess. It's, you know, okay. it, it's probably a good thing Steven couldn't join us because he would be getting chemical plant in Sonic Mania flashbacks. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't color. This color theory isn't right. <laughs> also, in underwater, you can you can smack the boxes with your tail, but in regular levels, what you can't. What the fuck? Croc is OP in underwater. It's Aquaman. Kill him. That's, that's his natural habitat. He actually has a trident. Your movie didn't deserve to make a billion dollars, but it was still dumb fun. That movie did! Like, straight up. It, it, can't that you? movie was fun, but it, it did not deserve to make a billion dollars. That's my hot take. I liked it. It was dumb as fuck, but it was enjoyable. But, it, no. Uh, it, 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 it deserved it as much as all the other ones that made a billion dollars. I would have rather if Wonder Woman crossed a billion dollars. But actually, Wonder Woman yeah, did yeah, it? That, really? That, 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 that's true. Yeah, that, that one should have done Really? Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman didn't Wonder break Woman, a billion? I want to say Wonder Woman got around 800 million. Huh. Yeah. So not nearly enough. See, honestly, I, the thing is, I'm pretty sure it, the reason it broke a billion is because everyone wanted to see whether or not Aquaman was finally redeemed. I would say he was, I mean, like, the, what, the redeem from what, the Super Friend cartoon? Super Friends, yeah. I mean, like, uh, like uh, and fair. Like, finally I'm, pay it, like, pay it off. Like, you know, they've been I'm, working towards it, but. No, I, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say both, uh, I think it was Jeff John's New 52 Aquaman book. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the Aquaman in the Justice League cartoon. And let's, let's all be fair. John DiMaggio's turn as Aquaman in <laughs> Brave and the Bold, Bold. yes! Made outrageous! Aquaman. Outrageous! That is, <laughs> that is like, I, 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 I enjoy Jason Momoa as Aquaman quite a bit, but to best me, it's still, it's still John DiMaggio's Aquaman still the best. See, I, I, I've best said this before, I, I think I brought this up when we did the Patreon podcast, but um, the, if there's one, out of one of very, very, very few things that I can give 50, New 52 credit for is that it helped turn around and bring prominence uh, to a lot of the... Um, that was bullshit. There are no invincibility hey. frames in this game. I forgot, hey. yeah. New New 52 also is what brought all of Stormwatch into mainline DC. So. Yeah, the thing is, it basically did the best thing... Uh, it was the best thing possible to uh, for the a lot of the underrated. <laughs> um, uh, like Aquaman, Shazam... Uh, a lot of the underrate, a lot of the lesser known Teen Titans, like, uh, hell, even Harley Quinn got her standalone with New 52. Like, New 52, basically, despite everything it fucked up royally in the, with the, a lot of the mainline crew, it did a lot of good things for, uh, bringing a lot of press and fixing a lot of things for a lot of the, um, uh, lesser, uh, tier characters like Aquaman and Shazam. And you know what? I'm, and now I'm most of and now most of New Fifty Two doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, and you know what? Oops. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Superman Wonder Woman was a good book, and I think Superman. I don't like Lois Lane. I think Superman Wonder Woman makes more sense than Superman Lois Lane. Fight me on real. I don't give a fuck. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I like see, them. I, like I would them both. agree with I just, you if yes. I didn't. It, it, I would agree with you if it wasn't for the fact uh, that I absolutely despised how they how shoehorn it felt. It felt like it was obligatory to have Super Wonder. How, how, how could you say something so true and yet so brave? <laughs> like, I, I absolutely, like, I don't mind that Superman Wonder Woman. Like, it, depending on the situation, you know, Superman fits with Lois, Superman fits with Wonder Woman, depends on, you know, how you handle it. It was just one of the worst written things I've seen is, with New 52. Uh, I, nah. I, I liked it. I, I, I liked that book. I liked it. You know, well, one of my favorite, one of my favorite moments is, is early on in their relationship that they're, talk, they're talking about, like, um, talking about, like, fights. And Wonder Woman just flat out says, like, yeah, like, she goes, like, yeah, you're strong as fuck, but you're a terrible fighter. 
Like, let me. This is just, she's like, let me train you so you can actually fight think over there. And, and he's like, okay. I think is there was no. It, it felt like there was little to no romantic chemistry at all. It just felt like the friendly chemistry that's already been there since the very beginning. And okay, I, I, I need to stop you for a second. So, for some reason, this gobo respawned. This gobo is not supposed to be here. Did that count did as get, a fifth did you one? Get him. Did, did you get an extra gobo? I got an extra, so I'm, I'm gonna end this level with seven gobos. Oh my gobos. god, that's great! <laughs> would that, would, would, I don't, would that, would that add to your total, or would the game internally fix it? No, no, it, 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 it's, it displays it as seven, but it doesn't, it doesn't, like, ruin the gotcha, uh, game gotcha. at all. Got you, got you, Because, because oh, all, give all the... Does it 101%? No, because, no, because all, the, all that matters in the game is that you get the, is that you get the, uh... No, look, see, like, six. So I think if I had left the level, I could have, like, if I had left the level, I think it would have counted, but I just went ahead and did it any, the second... I went ahead and did the secret level anyway. Wow. But I, all, all the game matters is that you get the puzzle pieces, and you get the puzzle pieces as long as you get, like, the six uh, gobos. So if you have seven, I guess the game just, like, fuck it, he has six. That's fine enough. <laughs> um, Shazam! Also, go, also, going back, that, you know, yeah, I, I agree that with, with Gareth that I, th I thought the Superman Wonder Woman was, like, real. I, I really thought that was super enjoyable. Like, I'm, I'm a big... Superman one, Superman Lois Lane guy as well, but like I'm, I'm all for like I'm all for like other romances as long as they're written well, and I thought that was really well. My my only my only issue was that I hate that they basically re like when Rebirth started, they're basically like, oh yeah, everything that happened with Wonder Woman, oh yeah, that that never happened, and Joe, yeah, it was all fake memories. So the and thing like, is, uh, honestly, that was uh, to play devil's advocate. Oh, uh, uh, for me, I guess it, it it's not. If not, I guess it would be harsh to say it wasn't written well, because, yeah, it was written well. It just felt too forced. It, like, it was obligatory to, like, be... The, the start was, like, the, the pairing, like, the initial pairing, yeah, I would it was say, was so... forced. But, like, the actual the actual romance itself, as shown in the book, I thought was really Yeah, I well think done. that that's, that's what it was for me. It, 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 they... The chemistry there just wasn't there for me. <laughs> Okay, well, DC, let me let me ask you this then. What are your current thoughts on Superman and, and his son? Because to me, that that feels way more forced. As as like when the current game, run, like, yeah. Uh, John Kent's great. I mean, it's it's, it's, I mean, wait, it's, it's, it's it's like in a way, it's like kind of like I have to uh, I have to know. Question for uh, is Superboy uh there, like Connor Kent. Superboy Connor Ken. Connor, Connor, well, Connor Ken's back because he's back in Young Justice right now, and and John Kent has been aged up, so now he's like a teenager. See, my issue with Con John Kent was uh, that I always liked uh, the arc when uh, Superman, you know, didn't really want to, uh, you know, th knew the the risks of having a kid with Lois. So when Connor existed, it was like, you know what, Lois and I are just gonna actually adopt you. That, I always like that, so I don't know. I, I haven't read anything of John Kent, so it, it's fun. His his, his uh, friendship with Damien is like the highlight. Son of Superman and the Super son of Wonder Batman. Ah, oh, that's gonna be nuts. Yeah, yeah. The, Super, the Sons. The Super Sons. Buy it now. I hate my dad. I hate him too. <laughs> <laughs> You're super. <laughs> Jordan, buy for buy.